Hi there. Thank you so much for joining me. This is Julie DiMatteo from thepaperpixie.com and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this adorable envelope punch board gift box that features the Garden Impressions Designer Series paper. How beautiful is that paper? I'd love to give credit to fellow German demonstrator Enos Jasper Knight. Her blog is sweetlywedding.de and her measurements were in metric, so I converted them and then tweaked them slightly because I wanted this bottom part of the box to be a square. So this box measures one and three eighths by one and three eighths by about two and five eighths. And inside, I don't know if you can see that, but I've got a little Ferrero Rocher and this is just an adorable little favor for any occasion. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start with a piece of Knight of Navy cardstock that measures four inches by six inches. And along the four inch side, we're gonna score this at five eighths, one and one eighth, one and five eighths, and three. And then I'm going to rotate it clockwise and along the six inch side, we're going to score this at one and three eighths, two and three quarters, four and one eighth, and five and a half. So our score lines look like this. And I'm going to go ahead and fold and burnish on all of the score lines. Now on the horizontal score lines, I'm gonna start from the bottom. So the small 5 8 inch section is the top of our treat box. So this one inch section is our bottom. And I'm gonna start by folding that and burnishing and the next score line as well. Now the next score line, so this middle of the three, I'm actually gonna fold that in the opposite direction. Not a total necessity, but it just gives the box a nicer finish. And then this top one I will fold back on itself. So what you'll end up with is kind of like this M shape here. All right. So let me bring in a template to show you. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to make some cuts. We're going to cut up all of these vertical score lines from the bottom, stopping at the horizontal score line. And then we're going to cut away this lower right rectangle here. I'm also going to notch this in slightly. This is going to be our side tab that will glue the box together. So I'm going to go ahead and make those cuts. Next, we're gonna use the envelope punch board to punch out these little holes here. So I'm gonna bring the envelope punch board in. And what I'm going to do is fold first on that little half inch tab. So I'm folding that backwards. Again, this is the top of our box. I'm gonna line that up on the left side at the one and one eighth inch mark on the envelope punch board. I'm gonna go ahead and punch. Then I'm just gonna to continue to fold back on each of these long score lines and lining it up to one and one eighth and punching. And then finally, this bottom edge here, I'm gonna go ahead and line that up to one and one eighth and punch. So you're gonna be left with something that looks like this. Now, I do wanna note that I punched this outside edge on the left but I did not punch the edge here on the right. You'll see that that would actually completely cut this away. And we actually want that little piece so that we can glue the box together. Now, before we put the box together, it's easier to adhere the designer series paper. So I have four squares that measure one and a quarter inch by one and a quarter inch. And then I have four pieces that measure half of an inch by one and a quarter inch. Now, a trick with these is I recommend that you cut a strip that is half inch by six inches, this designer series paper comes in six inch by six inch pieces. So cut a half inch strip first and then cut one and a quarter inch pieces. It's much easier to cut your paper that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere these square panels to this center section here. And then I'm gonna adhere these narrow pieces to the section on the top. I'm just gonna use my liquid glue for that. Okay, now that the designer series paper is adhered, I'm gonna flip the paper over this way. I'm gonna fold on the second score line from the left and apply glue just to that little half inch tab. Then I'm gonna fold on the first score line from the right 
And those should line up right where we want them to because we've got an equal number of sides on this box. And we're basically using our score lines to square up this box. So there we are. Now this is where our seam is. So I'm going to consider this panel the back. So I'm going to put in, first going to press in the right and the left. I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive on those tabs. They're not going to completely overlap, so I'm just putting them kind of on the edge there. Line that up. And then we can put glue on the back tab and then the front tab. So back, front. And then what we can do with our glue bottle is reinforce that from the inside. I'm just pressing down with my glue bottle. All right, so there's our little box. I just love the effect the envelope punch board punch outs have. Super, super cute. First, you want to put your Ferrero Rocher in there. And then we're going to tie a bow using the Knight of Navy gingham ribbon. It's about a half of an inch in width. How cute is that? I love the pattern mixing with the gingham and the floral pattern. Let's do a little bit of stamping. We're going to use the stamp set Make a Difference and the sentiment here, Made with Love. And we're going to stamp it in Knight of Navy on Whisper White. And we're going to punch that out with our 3 quarter inch circle punch. And then we're going to punch out a 1 inch circle from that beautiful new color, Mango Melody. I'm just going to glue those two together. And then pop it up on a dimensional. And then stick that right to the front of our little envelope punch board treat box. How cute is that? You could certainly change the sentiment and the colors for different occasions, but I love the design of this box. So super cute. So thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next video tutorial. If you're interested in purchasing any of the Stampin' Up! products I used today, they'll be linked in the description. And I'll also include a link to my detailed blog post with all project details, measurements, and a picture of the template. I'd love to have you come visit me at thepaperpixie.com where I post projects every weekday to inspire you. And I have options to subscribe to both my newsletter as well as my daily blog updates. And I'd love to welcome you as a new subscriber. You can shop with me anytime at thepaperpixie.com shop. And if you're interested in earning a discount on all your Stampin' Up! purchases, I'd love to have you join my team of Paper Pixies. And you can purchase the starter kit at thepaperpixie.com join. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful and blessed day. Take care. Bye.